Hey Aries, welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie and this is your mid-month reading for March 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. Kindly remember that this is a general reading and that time is fluid, so please apply what resonates currently and suspend the rest. This reading can be applied to relationships, career, and personal growth, as well as to the sign of Aries wherever it presents in your birth chart. I do offer personal readings and you can find my information in the description box below. And if you enjoyed today's reading, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you would be so kind, Aries. And with that, let's get started. So, to be fair, is the first card that came up, okay, in your pre in your shuffle now. But I want to say, Aries, before we jump into the cards, um, during your pre-shuffle, the words, is it worth it, kept coming up. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I feel like there is something you've been confronted with, a new relationship or a new opportunity, a new job opportunity or um, a new school opportunity, something, something regarding commitments that you're asking yourself, you know, there's something about it that feels really uncomfortable. Like there's something about it that requires you putting yourself on the line for it, opening yourself up, being vulnerable about past pain um, perhaps forcing you to confront previous imposter syndromes or feelings of self-doubt, some, you know, really self-defeating language, all right? But in general, this is a tough, it feels like a very tough question that you're posing to yourself because it's not that you don't want to proceed, it's that you wish you knew what was going to happen next so that you could decide if you like what you see or not. And that's normal. So one more card, please. Yeah, so we have to be fair coming up. Now, to be fair, you may be connecting with a Libra, but this is a feeling here of being objective and being honest. So if there's a conversation that you've been wanting to have with someone or even just with yourself, if there's something that you've been meaning to really revisit for yourself and be honest about, now is the time. Something about this conversation or this honesty is going to rebalance the scales in a way that is going to be very useful to you. Here and now, this is about a feeling, this feels like four of cups energy right now. Um, the here and now indicates a certain level of boredom. You are here in the moment, which is good, but there's also a, um, a feeling here that to really make the most of the moment, you have to take a look at your surroundings. You have to engage with the elements. And if there's someone in your environment it's not enough to just ghost them or ignore their communication because there's something about what is happening there. The fact that this person is in your environment right now, that's bringing back a lot of old memories um, or bringing up a lot of, it's bringing up a lot of emotional baggage. Okay. Now, this is not a bad thing at all, Aries. This is something that you know has been on its way to for quite some time. But with the here and now, this is ushering you, um, this is asking you to now take this opportunity to sit with the thoughts because the person you're connecting with or the opportunity you're connecting with, if this is not romance for you, it is worth it. Even if it's not for the long term, there is something very beautiful here. Okay? And not everything that is beautiful and worth the time and worth the effort needs to be forever, okay? So this is a genuine, sincere situation that you're in because that is why you are having all of these emotional um, responses. Now with yin, this is the feminine, all right? This is about you tapping into your heart space. This is about being emotional, being vulnerable, being open, being gentle, and giving yourself grace, Aries. There is nothing wrong with being soft. There is nothing wrong with allowing yourself to bend a little bit. There is nothing wrong with being heartfelt, okay? Um, I am getting that you're engaging with, I'm getting Pisces and Virgo very strong for some reason. Um, but in general, this is just about you really leaning in with your heart right now, both in the way you feel when you're alone right? It's okay to fantasize and romanticize, but also in the way you approach whoever it is that you are connecting with. Okay. 
Aries, please. Past, present, future, why this is all happening. The best case scenario, please, for Aries. Past, present, future, why it's all happening. And best case scenario for Aries, please. Okay, so recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is about saving money, saving time. This is about having a routine and it's about having boundaries. So Aries, in the recent past, it feels to me like you have gotten your stuff together, okay? This has required quite a lot of discipline. This has required planning and you know where your resources are going, right? You know what you're investing in. You know what it is you want and you have the plan already set in motion. That if that is not where you have been recently, Aries, this is the energy you will be coming into very soon. Where you are right now is the Eight of Wands. So you're in a space right now, Aries, where you are receiving so much communication. Aries, if you're not receiving communication, you will be, so, you will be soon. This is communication like you just don't even know what to do with all this communication. I, I'm getting the feeling here, truthfully, like you have... I feel like the seven of cups is going to clarify this. I don't know why. I just get the feeling. It's just, it's a lot. Okay. You are making significant progress. You are getting the motivation, the energy, and you are receiving so much good news. So you're going to have so much interest being expressed to you, either in the form of multiple people, multiple opportunities, or one person or one opportunity, but it is going to be so sincere and so exciting and so heartfelt. Okay, but this is progress, this is excitement, and you are going to be receiving some, some form of communication or news that is going to help accelerate you into the future. Yeah, and here we go. We have, uh, we have Taurus energy, we have the Hierophant. All right, so coming into the near future, we've got a commitment of some kind, either a relationship or some type of committed um, partnership at work or a, a contract is offered to you in the form of a career change. Perhaps you're going back to school, all right, Aries? But whatever this is, you could also be um, mentoring somebody or connecting with a mentor. I'm getting that for some of you as well. This is about you taking on a, a either studentship role or a mentorship role. But in the near future, this is commitment. This is, this is um, an agreement. This is long-term. So whoever this is, they mean business when it comes to you. <laughs> and whatever this is, this is meant for you because you are not only equipped, but anything that you might be lacking, this situation is prepared to give you what you need to fill the seat. Okay? But some type of long-standing commitment awaits you. Why it's all happening, Aries, is the Six of Wands. So you may have come upon a promotion recently. Um, again, if you are coming to this reading, not having experienced any of this yet, then if you are here, most likely this will be coming towards you very soon. Remember that timing is fluid. Six of, six of Wands is about being recognized for a job well done. This is about being the go-to person. This is about having fought tooth and nail for something and being, being on top, right? Don't rest on your laurels, <laughs> but you've achieved, you've made it. Now you can proceed to the next endeavor. Now you can proceed to what people will challenge you at this stage, of course, right? Um, but you won this fair and square. I will say this as well, why it's all happening. There is something about you, Aries, that is a showstopper. The six of wands is somebody who is at the center of attention. So you have impressed somebody or you have shown yourself to be unique in some significant way. The five of wands shows a bunch of people fighting and they all look about the same. The six of wands is somebody who comes out on top amidst all the people who look like they're doing the same thing. You stand out for some reason in a very positive way and that is why you are getting all of this, all of this opportunity and all of this connection. Best case scenario, is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so you may be connecting with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But the Queen of Swords indicates that you are someone, first of all, who is intelligent, funny, witty, um, and honest. 
right? So the Queen of Swords is the best case scenario means that you are able to put your fire to the side for a moment and really take something seriously because there are times Aries and as a Scorpio myself, I have, I know many Aries and I say, I say that because Aries and Scorpio, we share Mars. Um, I know Scorpio shares Pluto, but I believe some astrologers have said that Scorpio's more ancestral past astrologically shares with Mars, with Aries. Um, and so in that same element, I feel like I understand, Aries, that you guys will, um, you guys are aggressive. You pursue, right? You guys, you know when something belongs to you and you fight for it. There's no, like, you, and no one is going to go toe to toe with you. Like, you already know who's the boss. They should already know who's the boss. But if they don't know, <clears throat> you'll let them know, right? So Queen of Swords is somebody who is very similar. The difference is that swords tends to be cold which is very different from wands, which is very fiery and energetic. The, the queen of swords is someone who makes the moves she requires, but she does so stealthily. She does so, she does so through communication and through, um, uh, what is it? Through either verbal communication or through text messages or emails, but she's very clear and she's very honest. She's intentional about her communication, okay? So in the best case scenario, you are either connecting with someone like this or this is who you become in the process of moving through this situation. Now, the thing with this, which is a very positive attribute, is that what this is telling me so far, Aries, is that whatever this is, it's asking you to step outside of yourself, which means this situation in and of itself is very transformative for you. It's asking you to give it more thought, not just acting on it. It's asking you to give it more thought, which means there is something here that means something to you. Let's clarify, please, for Aries. Okay. Four of Pentacles is being clarified by the Emperor. This is you, Aries. So either you're connecting with another Aries, or you in the recent past have just come into this space of being routinized, you know, routinized, being routine oriented, knowing where you're putting your time, your money, your energy, being res reser um, reserving it and being conservative about how you spend it. Why? Because you know where you are moving, the direction you're moving into. And this isn't the time to just go and spend and spend and spend. There's something here that you realize is actually going to require, it's almost like a nest egg. Let's put it that way, Aries. It's like a nest egg. You know that where you are aiming for is going to require all the resource you have. So you are not spending any more than you need to in the form of time, energy, money, opportunity, nada. You want to make sure that when the opportunity calls, you can cash in that ticket. You are not playing games right now. And you may be connecting with an Aries and that Aries is how they feel about you. You may also be connecting with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because I am getting that here as well. That's how this person feels towards you. They feel very serious about you. For some, this is about a boss. Same thing. They feel very serious about you. They're, they're ready to extend some form of commitment. It's just a matter of time and resource. Coming into the near future is the Eight of Wands being clarified by the Nine of Swords. So this is about some kind of information that leaves you dumbfounded. It leaves you, it leaves you tossing and turning in your bed, Okay. It's something that feels so good, you almost don't know if it was meant for you. It's almost like receiving, it's like receiving a check in the mail for a million dollars and you're like, wait, 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 it has my name on it. <laughs> it has my name on it. I can go cash this. No one gave me anything about it. Like, is this really for me? Is this really mine? Where'd it come from? It's that feeling of out of the blue, but it's beautiful. And it has your name on it, Aries. So coming in right now where you are, you're in a space where you just can't even think because this feels so good that you just don't know what to do with yourself. Aries, you deserve everything you've worked hard for. Don't think for two seconds that you don't deserve every good thing coming towards you right now for everything you've done. Coming into the near future, we have the Hierophant 
being clarified by the Knight of Swords. So you could be connected with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but this is about somebody, an air sign possibly, who is very determined to speak their truth to you in regards to commitment. This can also be a Taurus who is going to be coming towards you very, very quickly with a swift message of truth, okay? Now, I am getting for some of you that there is more than one person involved here and that this air sign and this fire sign or earth sign potentially um, are two different energies here. And I only say that because you're in the middle of the reading right now. This is you in the middle of the reading. You have all this positive energy coming towards you, but you're sort of in this tormented state. And then in the past, you have all of this beautiful, um, confirmatory, just planning type of energy, very intentional and deliberate moving energy. And then coming into the near future, you have a sort of this abruptness, this incredible opportunity or this another, I want to say another opportunity because you may not find yourself aligned to it. I say that because with the Queen of Swords, right, this is something that is requiring you to think about it. But I will say for some, I do see multiple people here and that is the reason you are feeling so stressed. Now, why it's all happening, because I want to see the full reading before we talk more about that third party situation, if there is one here for you. Six of, six of Wands um, in the reason it's all happening is being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is about, yeah, you are getting all of this attention and you are at the center and the focus. But at the same time, you are not sure that that necessarily is a good thing um, because you want to do well, but you don't want anyone to get in your way. And sometimes when you're the center of attention, people get jealous and they try to throw you off. And that is exactly what the Six of Wands is followed by. The Six of Wands, which is victory, is followed by the Seven of Wands, which is people challenging where you have earned your space to be. Yeah? So it is not unreasonable to have that fear, Aries. However, I will say that if anyone does challenge you based on how rock solid your, your, um, your platform is, what you are operating off of, this foundation you've built, no one is going to be able to challenge you and actually successfully throw you off your game. What you are building right now is like rock solid. There is no one that can knock you off. Okay? So... Let these people try if they need to. Let this person try if they need to. It's not going to happen. Because I'm getting there's some tension here surrounding this Taurus or this, this, air, this air sign. Now, best case scenario with the Queen of Swords is the Knight of Wands. So either Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But this is you. Because you're getting to a space where you're going to want to just move again, Aries. Like you, you're in a space where you're planning, you're doing, you're, you're saving, you are, you know, dealing with things accordingly. However, you cannot, you cannot be stopped. <laughs> you cannot be stopped. Aries is Aries. Okay. You cannot be stopped. So when it comes down to making this decision, this communication you decide to have with someone, this is about having a communication with somebody. Um, giving them your decision because the Queen of Swords is all about elimination of, of options and choosing, selecting for herself what she wants to be left with. The Knight of Wands is someone who does so in a way that might appear kind of hot and cold. So Aries, this might, this might be you hesitating on the message a little bit. You might find yourself wanting to send communication to someone or multiple people and not really knowing how to go about it the way that you want to. That's normal. The, the focus, the priority here is that you're honest. And that is what you are going to do. You are going to be honest. So as far as the honesty and this message that you're going to be sending, this is, this is going to be, it's going to be received well. Because whoever these people are in this situation, they are mature and they understand. Because Again, we either are dealing with an emperor who understands the long term. They understand decision making. So they're not going to be upset by your decisions. Or we have an air sign or a Taurus that might be coming in with a swift message. But they themselves are also very co commitment oriented and mature themselves. So whoever is involved, they may have their streaks of immaturity. But no matter what decision you make or what communication you choose to give and the way you give it, everyone involved 
or any of the one people involved will understand the message and receive it with grace. Okay, but I think what's important to note here, Aries, is that you speak from your passions. You speak on what you are willing to actually do. Because yes, there is, you know, there are opportunities, but you are not going to say yes to every opportunity. And that's clear here because the Four of Pentacles has come up twice. So you are holding back in a significant way because there is a greater purpose in mind. So while you might have these opportunities to move in a different direction, the question for you, Aries, is which direction, if any, do you want to move in? Or would you prefer to just continue to chip away or chip away at what you're doing and continue to build the foundation that you're building? It's completely your call, and as long as it is an honest made decision and objective, right, you will you will be happy with the decision you make. Guidance, please, for Aries. Okay, we've got the Nine of Cups. And we've got the Eight of Swords. So Aries, this is a feeling here of being under the impression, being under the impression that joy feels different than what it is. Remember that the Nine of Cups is a feeling of contentment. It's not stimulating. It's relaxing. I don't know who needs to hear that, but that is, that is the feeling here. Nine of Cups is about a dream come true. The Eight of Swords is about feeling, feeling trapped. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is about just enjoying, enjoying the way being in love or joy, enjoying the way this contentment makes you feel because there is a certain cap. Contentment, it's, it's, it's level, it's balanced. Contentment is very stagnant. It's not very exciting, but it's not boring, but it's a fulfilling feeling. It's at, Eight of Swords is a limitation. So you're being advised here to either enjoy the contentment for what it is without expecting more. But then on the other, the other side of the coin is that you should also, Aries, you should enjoy, you should give yourself permission to just enjoy what is. You should give yourself permission to indulge and, and be for yourself sometimes, okay? This isn't about spending what you have saved, right? There are no pentacles here. This is not about you taking your four of pentacles, say, taking everything you've saved and indulging in it. That's not that. It's just asking you to take pleasure Take pleasure in the daily things. And if you find yourself connecting with people who really make you feel very spoiled, because I am getting that for some, um, enjoy that. Enjoy what these people have to offer. Enjoy what this person has to offer. Enjoy what this opportunity has to offer. And don't ask yourself, what, what will this be? For what? Is it worth it? To what end? Right? Sometimes that's not the question we should be asking. Sometimes the question is just, how can I make sure that I enjoy this to the fullest while it's here with me now? It's okay to love and then let go. It's okay to be a part of something big and then let it go. A project, whatever this is. It's okay for things that are beautiful in your life to be temporary. That is okay, Aries. And I don't know who needs to hear that message, but I am speaking to someone right now. It is okay to love someone and them not be yours. It is okay to be in love with a purpose and a cause and a project and a team. And it that be every all it, all it is. Right? If you go on a, on a mission trip or you go and complete a project abroad or if you have a 2 month stint in another co company helping the team with something and then that is the best time of your life and then you leave. That's okay. It is okay for beautiful things to be short-lived. It is not in our control to prolong those experiences. They come to us and the question we ask is, how can I make sure I lock these memories up so that I can revisit them whenever I want? Giving myself permission to enjoy the moment now and in the future because it's blessings 
that you are receiving, Aries. It's blessings that you are in. And these are beautiful experiences being given to you, not because you necessarily have to do anything with them, but because it allows you to really be soft in this moment. And it allows you to ask yourself some really crucial questions about what you want to see for the future because you are preparing for something great. This might be part of that, but if it's not, it is serving a purpose of making you feel good regardless. Okay? So Aries, thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you, my friend. I hope that you found today's reading clarifying and helpful. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Um, and with that, Aries, I'm going to just, I'm going to send you all my love. I'll see you in the next reading. Okay? I'll see you next time.